How often have you wondered of catching a flight to the heavens on your domestic airport? How fascinating would it be to just book a ticket over the internet, pack your bags and wait at the runway for a spaceship to take you into space? Dreaming of being an astronaut becomes nearly impossible for many of us. But what if I told you that you don't need to be an astronaut to go into space? Seems too sci-fi, right? Well, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser might just make that science fiction a reality. For almost two decades, this ambitious project has been in the works, facing hurdle after hurdle. But with recent advancements, the dream of a runway landing space plane could finally be taking flight. The Dream Chaser, crafted by Sierra Space, represents a paradigm shift in space travel, an innovative space plane unlike any other. The DC-100 is an unmanned spaceship engineered specifically to ferry cargo to and from the International Space Station with unparalleled precision. But wait, there's more. A 15-foot cargo module, the Shooting Star, seamlessly attaching itself to the Dream Chaser expanding its capabilities beyond imagination. And let's not forget the crown jewel, the DC-20. A crude dream machine destined to transport astronauts effortlessly to the space station and beyond, ushering in a new era of exploration and discovery in the vast expanse of low Earth orbit. The Dream Chaser is a groundbreaking reusable space plane crafted by Sierra Space right here in the USA. Originally designed for crews, it now comes in two flavors, the Crewless Dream Chaser cargo system and its manned sibling, the Crewed Dream Chaser. The cargo version is a powerhouse set to restock the International Space Station, ISS, with all sorts of supplies, making sure our space hub never runs out of essentials. Sierra Space's big dream is to make space travel open to all, foster global teamwork, and kickstart group adventures into the vast realms of space exploration. The Dream Chaser is engineered to launch atop a standard rocket and glide back to Earth like an airplane, touching down on a runway with precision. Some standout features? It's all about reusability, offering a remarkable minimum of 15 missions per system. Plus, it runs autonomously during its flights, streamlining operations. When it comes to cargo, it's no lightweight handling up to 5,000 kilograms of pressurized goods and 500 kilograms of unpressurized items. What's more, its soft landings are a boon for delicate science experiments, cargo and crew members alike. And talk about efficiency, it swiftly integrates into ground logistics post-landing, ensuring speedy access to payloads. Dream Chaser stands out with its unique features. Unlike most spacecraft that land with parachutes in the ocean, Dream Chaser touches down on regular runways, a method not regularly seen since the space shuttle days. This style of landing speeds up recovery and allows for rapid reuse, making space travel logistics simpler and cutting down on refurbishment time and costs. With this runway landing ability, Dream Chaser can swiftly be prepped for its next mission. Much like how airplanes operate, a true game changer in the world of space exploration. The Dream Chaser steps up to tackle crucial challenges in space travel. First off, it's a lifeline for the International Space Station, ISS, ferrying supplies, gear, and experiments up there. But it doesn't stop there. By using regular runways globally, it sparks teamwork on a global scale for space projects. There's more. It's also a speedy option for military deliveries, thanks to an agreement with the US Department of Defense for quick point-to-point -point space shipments within three hours. Plus, its gentle landings are a boon for delicate scientific studies, making it a top pick for research missions. Lastly, it's a game changer for commercial space travel, opening up space for private companies and researchers to join the cosmic journey. During its development, the Dream Chaser faced several challenges the project began in the early 2000s with plans for an initial flight in 2016. However, issues arose with its automated flight control systems, crucial for safe landings. Debugging and refining these systems took longer than expected. Additionally, design modifications were needed, especially for the thermal protection system to handle re-entry temperatures better. These changes extended the development timeline, requiring more testing phases Originally, the Dream Chaser was supposed to launch on an Atlas V rocket. However, Sierra Space opted for a more cost-effective option and switched to using the Vulcan Centaur rocket instead. 
Sierra Space's Dream Chaser and SpaceX's Starship have distinct focuses. Dream Chaser prioritizes runway landings and specific mission types, while Starship aims for a broader scope, boasting remarkable payload capacity, reusability, and ambitions for missions beyond Earth, especially to Mars. SpaceX has faced rigorous challenges in developing Starship, undergoing numerous orbital test flights with varying degrees of success. Despite setbacks, these tests have been crucial in refining technologies for large-scale space exploration, showcasing the potential for ambitious missions like colonization efforts. Moving forward, SpaceX is dedicated to advancing Starship's capabilities through upcoming flights focused on technology enhancements and demonstrating its versatility. Starship's unique features, including in-orbit refueling and adaptability for diverse mission types, position it as a pivotal player in shaping the future of space travel and exploration. SpaceX is actively testing Starship prototypes at their Boca Chica, Texas facility. Three orbital test flights have been conducted so far. The first, on April 20th, 2023, ended in the vehicle's destruction shortly after liftoff due to engine issues. The second test on November 18th, 2023, demonstrated improvements but was also destroyed during the boost backburn due to a filter blockage. The third test on March 14th, 2024, achieved orbit but lost contact during re-entry, likely breaking apart. These tests have led to enhancements for the upcoming fourth test flight, targeted for May 2024, focusing on improved procedures and technologies based on earlier experiences and data. Hearing all about the Dream Chaser makes us wonder, when will it launch? Although this project has been in the talks for long, it has faced numerous delays and postponements over the years. The development journey of the Dream Chaser space plane spans nearly two decades, marked by various challenges that slowed its progress. However, recent advancements hint at the possibility of its inaugural flight drawing near. Notably, the spacecraft has successfully completed vital pre-flight tests at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, indicating readiness for launch slated for the first half of 2024, essentially by May this year. The innovation of spaceships like Dream Chaser is definitely a new step into futuristic space travel. The Dream Chaser's impending launch, after years of challenges, signifies a significant milestone in space exploration. Sierra Space's dedication to creating a versatile, runway landing spaceplane, capable of ferrying cargo, supporting scientific research, and facilitating commercial space travel, highlights the evolving landscape of space technology. While the Dream Chaser's journey has been marked by delays and setbacks, recent progress and successful pre-flight tests signal a promising future. The expected launch in the first half of 2024 represents a culmination of years of hard work and innovation, bringing us closer to a reality where space travel is more accessible and efficient. What are your thoughts on the Dream Chaser? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting content.